after auditing the data, you're going to need to check whether it is duplicate or not. OK, so I have a small question, guys. OK, I have a small question. What do you mean by duplicate? OK, what do you mean by duplicate? In my file, OK, in my file, assume there are records like this. First record is A11. Second record is some B11. Then third record here is C or B11 again. And then fourth one here is having C11. And fifth one is having OK. I'm writing multiple so that you you get the situation here. You need to understand the situations correctly. Then you know what is duplicate we call D11 here. Now my question guys, my question here is. Tell me the number OK from 1 to 6. OK, tell me the number 1 to 6. Which is a duplicate, which is a duplicate. Give me the number guys. Uh, you guys say Sunil it is 3 and 5. I like that answer guys. 3 and 5 is the actual answer. OK, this one is the correct one. This yeah, one is I the think. correct one. 3 and 5 is the correct answer guys. All of you 3 and 5 is the correct answer. The point here guys two records. OK, as you see guys, as you see that Anil these two, these are duplicate. These are duplicate you are telling. Actually, it's not like that guys. When you say duplicate guys, this one is a duplicate comparing with the second one. This one is a duplicate comparing with the fourth one guys. First record is not called duplicate guys. First record is not called as a duplicate. The one which comes same for second time is a duplicate. So to solve this duplicate problem guys, one of the best thing that you do is first sort the data. OK, we'll assume like that our data is sorted. Then what I want to do is I want to check like this. Move for if condition if the input. OK, this is my input guys. This is my input here. Account detail of account number in. This is my input account details. Sorry, account details in is equal to is equal to doubles account number hold. What is this variable? This is my temporary logical variable guys. As per the one, if these both are equal guys, if these both are equal, it is a duplicate. OK, it is a duplicate. Else guys, else in this case, it's not a duplicate. OK, if these are equal guys, it is a duplicate. Else it's not duplicate. So if it is not duplicate, OK, it's a valid data. It's a valid data and it's not duplicate guys. Then you need to write the data into output file. So perform 340 move. I write, you can tell the answer there itself guys. Move right para. You are not displaying guys. You are not displaying here. You are sending the data here into the file. Now what you do is whatever the data you have moved here, hold it because that is your next new record to work on. So what I do here is move account number of account details. You hold it in your hand account number hold. Account number hold here. And if. And then. And if. now you people tell me guys, OK, let's I, you, you can answer yourself only. This is my logic for first record. OK, this is the logic for sec first record. If I have to go for the second record, I'll write like this is uh, WS any more inputs, any more inputs equal to OK. This is a condition if WS any more inputs equal to yes. If any more inputs equal to yes, then I will go and get the next record 200 get input para through 200 exit. And if so this is our personal logic to loop guys. This is our personal logic to loop as many times as we want. Now how many of you did not understood this part? So well, completely. How many of you did not understood this piece? Everybody understood guys. OK. Who is that? Come on. Can't see. Srinivas. Srinivas. Yes. <clears throat> uh, 
I mean, I couldn't understand it totally. I only heard it, but uh, that's fine. That's fine. See, I know this is not the one which you can understand in a single way, guys. The point is very simple. What I'm doing, guys, OK, these are my records. OK, these are my records. This is my account number of in group and this is my WS account number hold. OK, this is what I have in my head. I get one record. OK, this is my first record, guys, and I have this account number 111 here. Now, in this case, this is the first value is space. OK, first value is space. Now, is it equal, guys? Is it equal? First record. Equal this one equal to this one? No, obviously. No, Anil, it's not equal. So what I'll say when it is not the else case, in the else case, write the record as output. So these are your output. You got the output A111 here. Then what you told system to go and read the second record. Before you reading the second record, after writing here, what you did, you moved this number to WS account number hold. OK, the first record into your hand. So now what you have is in stop space, you have the account number 111 here. OK, this is what I told the system. If it is equal, then it is a duplicate. If it is not equal, then write the record and move the record to the hold variable. That's what I told the system. Now you go and read the second record, guys. Now you go and this read the second record. So you got the second record here like this. Is B equal to A, guys? Obviously, no, Anil. Don't ask simple questions. OK, so what I'll say, it's a no. It goes to the else case. It will write the record. It will write the record, which is A to V2 to V111 like this. And then what it will do, it will move this one to your account to hold, guys. This one to your account to hold. So what happens now? The control will come here and it will have B111. Now you read the third record, guys. Now you read the third record here. OK, now you read the third record. When you come here with the third record, guys, is it matching, guys? Is it matching? The third record? Yes, guys, yes. Anil, it is matching. So this one is a duplicate, guys. This one is a duplicate here. You just do skip. Don't do anything. Don't do anything, just skip. Then go and read the next record. So you got this one here, the C1, okay? The C here. And in the hold variable, guys, it is still B only, okay? In the hold, it is still B only. Obviously, this is not equal, guys. So else case, you can write the record. You can write the record and you got C11 here and hold it. Anytime you are writing the record into the file, hold that record so that you can compare with the next record. So when you come here and you read the fifth time, when you read to the fifth time here, when the control came here, you have 111 here and you still have 111 here also, okay? Because you are holding that now. Obviously, this is a S anil, it's a duplicate anil, it's a duplicate, skip it. So if you see the requirement, guys, we are skipping the third and fifth record. OK, you are skipping the third record over here. You are skipping the fifth record over here. This way you can skip all the records. Now for this logic, guys, for this logic, your data should be in sorted order. Then only it will work. If it is jumbled, guys, this logic will not work. You need to sort the file first and then use it. So Srinivas, you got it? Yes, sir. Did you yes, sir. OK. Very nice. So my question here, guys, my question here is I want my control from here to here. How I should get? I want my control from here to here. 